Wistoria Wand and Sword, the final episode is done, episode 12, and we can take excitement, solace, and just happiness in knowing at the end of the episode, we got a official confirmation that production of the second season of the TV anime is in the works. Now, what that means is they were able to deliver a pretty poor pretty blasé last episode where really nothing happened. It was all just kumbaya with our powers combined Captain Planet. That's really all we got in episode 12, but we can still take, you know, that happy moment in knowing that officially season two has been confirmed and it is going to be on the way. Now, what episode 12 did a really good uh, or did a really good job in was drumming up like excitement or... Uh, I guess not even excitement, curiosity of what's to come, right? They introduced they introduced Finn, which is a line of supporters, because of course he is, you know, every time I'm try always trying to remove my Don Machi knowledge from this. But they introduced Finn, who is from a very long line of supporters. They are non-magical entities. These are some kind of powerful family that helps mages explore the dungeon. And they do this after generation after generation. And Finn has now taken an interest in the sword, which is our boy. So that makes sense. He's interested in Will. They also drum up excitement with the headmaster, the teacher, you know, the principal, whatever you want to call her, where Finn goes like, hey, why didn't you tell me about this boy? And then she goes into, you know, he's always wanted, he's a sword that's always wanted to have the wand. And blah, 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 you know, just very dramatic stuff. Uh, and Finn's like, all right, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a boy for a little bit longer, but I'm about to, I'm about to interject and intervene in this. So obviously he knows a lot. He knows Will's descendants and he knows kind of a lot. So that's kind of where next season's going to go. Uh, this episode also had, I guess you could call it the end of them fighting the Duke or whatever. And then all the people from the tower, you know, I think El even Elfie was there. Uh, I, I don't know if they really hinted at it, but basically all the top folks from the tower they ascended they caved they went blah, 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 lightning lightning night lightning and uh they were able to save all the kids and then all the kids go back to the school where they had the funeral for all their teachers i think 12 of them died or something like that uh and then will and sion share their really weird best friend moment you know where i hate you but i love you but i hate you but i love you you know and they have like this big fight and whatever else and that's really all that happened this episode Outside of like Elfie looking down from her tower going, you know, like that. So it's like, whatever. So overall, this was a very, it's kind of a waste of a time. Honestly, it was, it was like, it was a very just okay episode on its own five out of 10. I don't think it did anything spectacular. I think the moment with, um, Lorraine, uh, Liana, Liana, you know, I think that moment was cute where, uh, she kept getting fed and she was so hungry. So I think that moment was cute. Uh, I, I understand the Sion Will stuff. You know, they're just trying to show, you know, best bros with his Sundere, Sundere, uh, Sion. Uh, the stuff with Finn is probably the most interesting portion of it. But really, this is just an episode just to kind of draw some, draw some lines of like what's to come so that you can keep interest for season two. So that's really it, guys. So that's all I got to say. Uh, episode 12 was fine you know nothing special there but you know overall i just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for being a part of this all season long um my camera keeps going on and off i don't know what the hell's going on there that's weird but thank you guys for being with me all season long i appreciate you guys i can't wait to see you guys in the fall season to check out all my fall videos check out the videos that are going to come up right now in the end screens also check up the video up there right now it's the ultimate guide i will i run through every single brand new anime that's you know on the on the docket or coming up for fall so check out that video there and then i also have the 10 brand new not returning but brand new anime uh that should be on your radar so make sure you guys watch all my fall videos there but thank you guys for being a part of this um with story of wand and sword we Depending on what comes out when this finally launches, I may or may not be here for season two, but if it's a season to where there's not a lot of new, that kind of like, oh, I really need to watch this new stuff or some really amazing returning anime, like if it's between Wistoria and like Mashoko Tensei or something, like, come on. 
So it just depends, but we'll we'll maybe see you for season two, but we at least have a season two on the horizon. All right, check out my fall stuff, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.